Hi, this is Chris Converse, and this is a course on creating an interactive map for your website. I want to start by showing the final project inside of the exercise files that you can download as part of the course. So inside of the final project folder, I'm going to open up the HTML file. So what we're going to be creating is this interactive map. We're going to have a drop-down menu in the lower left-hand area. Selecting different items in the drop-down menu will change the dots that are plotted across the map. So if I come over here and select Europe, for example, any dot that is not on Europe will fade away, and only the dots that are assigned to Europe will show up. In addition, if we come over to the dots and click on them, we're going to fade the city detail information over on the right. We're going to fade it down, change the content, and then fade it back up. All of this content is going to be in this web page hidden through CSS. And as I go through the different dots, we can fade that information, change it, and bring it back up. Now to create this user experience, we're going to be using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. We're also going to be hooking jQuery into our project to give us the ability to create a dynamic relationship between the drop-down menu and the dots and the dots and their city detail information. Now one of the advantages of a framework like jQuery is that the code that we develop for one platform will work across other platform and devices as well. So here we are looking at the exact same user experience over in Windows 7 on IE9. And I can come in here and click on the individual dots, change the form menu, and get exactly the same user experience we were just looking at over on the Mac platform in Safari. Now in addition to computer screens, we can also take a look at this across mobile devices. So I want to bring up an Android simulator here showing us a handheld device. I can come in here and tap the individual dots on an Android phone and see the same exact user experience. Or even come into a tablet simulator and take a look at the same user experience running on an iPad simulator as well. I'm going to hit Command right arrow to rotate this. Hold Option to pinch up. Tap and move around. Tap on the individual dots and see the content change here as well. So I hope this sounds interesting to you, and if so, let's get started with the first movie.